Philippians chapter 3, verse 17. I see what you Brethren, he followeth together of me, and mark them which walk so as you have us for an ensign. Yeah, and the Lord said, walk as Paul was following Christ, we're supposed to walk in the same form and fashion and mark them that's not doing that. So that's why we, that's why it might seem that it's repetitive, we're saying the same thing over and over again, but we're marking them, we're imprinting it on you, man. You gonna have, that's gonna be the stigma of Yohanna. All your, your bullshit you've been saying over the past five years is gonna be sticking to you. Cause every time we think of you, like, yeah, that was the dude who said that. Oh yeah, he was the dude who said you could do this. He was the dude who said you could do your woman in the behind. All right? He's the dude who said you, you could hate, you could love a white man. Your enemy. We don't know what we don't love, hate the white man, we hate all the other nations too. Because they're not in our great, they're not gonna be in our graces until the kingdom come and after they serve their punishment. Then they gonna be, then we gonna uh, lift up that, that, that um, finger off them. Okay, that we gonna oppress them for a thousand years. So in order for me to oppress somebody, I gotta hate them. So we gonna be getting, we, the nation's gonna have them under our, we gonna have our foot on their necks. Okay, we're gonna, have, we're gonna be on them like white on rice. Okay, so we hate the other nations too. And the Lord gonna build up that hate more and more. Okay, and, and in the kingdom we gonna hate them. We gonna, we gonna make them subject, subject to us. And they gotta pay for their um, their crimes against us. They gotta pay against, pay for their um, their ill, ill gotten, man. And the tribulation they put us through. All right, and the kingdom they gonna know that the Lord loved us and they gonna lick the dust of our feet too. The scriptures tell you that. So if somebody licking the dust of your feet, you don't let them, let, they love, if you love them, you ain't gonna allow them to lick the dust of your feet. So the nation's got that coming. Only people that the Lord gonna take the hate off for after the, uh, before the thousand years, when the kingdom come is our children, which is gonna be the two thirds coming back to our loins. Then we gonna love them, because they gonna be brought up and they gonna know God. All right, and all they gonna know is they're Israelite and they gonna know our heritage and they gonna be brought up in the, um, the legacy of us. But the other nations, we're gonna have um, perpetual hatred for them in the kingdom. We're gonna be beating them into submission. And the Lord ain't gonna design them, whereas they gonna have the laws in them. So for them not having the laws in them, and they might wanna eat camel and do all this kind of uh, backward shit against the laws, and they heathen to begin with, we gonna have to hate what they're doing and whip their ass. So that's gonna be hate. Just like now, we hate the nations now, we hate the other, uh, we hate the so-called white men. Uh, just a quick point, like, uh, which is what we're gonna put on double to these other nations, yep. all right, for what they did to us. It says get rendered onto her double, mm -hmm. all right. When Esau was putting us in slavery, he wasn't doing it with love. Yeah, can't tell me it was so. So when we when we put it on double, we're not gonna do it with love either. Yeah, can't do it with love. So we do it with hate. The Lord said in Ezekiel, He gonna put His hate, His anger in us, man. Okay, He could put His anger in us. Hey, basically, the Most High set it up where every every being gonna reap what they sow. And, then, and these other nations got no justification. They don't have no, um, uh, what the Lord called it, favor, where the Lord will wipe out all of our past sins and give us a clean slate. These other nations going in the kingdom without a clean slate. They going in with that whole backpack of all the atrocities that they put on the half of the Lord's eye, the children of Israel. So when they come into our, when the Lord is building up the kingdom of heaven, it's gonna be on the backs of blood and shed of these other nations. The Gentiles, Our gates are going to be open continually, and the Gentiles are going to bring all their forces to us. And if they don't do all that, they ain't going to get no rain. So that's not that's not love, but that's that's going to be anger and hate, man. We're going to make them submit to us, submit to Yahweh and Yahweh And if they don't do it, they're going to be destroyed. Okay? And they ain't going to they going to be doing it willingly, but they still going to be making mistakes. That's all right. That's all right. I got, a, wait, I got a quick precept. This is uh, Amos chapter 5 verse 15. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. Yep. Hate the evil and, and love the good. We love Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. We love his laws, God's commandments. We love his program. We love what he has for us for the future. We love what he's doing to us in the present. And we trying to get over what he did to us in the past, but we got to remember the past because that's on for our learning. And the Lord said establish judgment in the gate. 
So the gate is up. The basically these are teachers. And it's us right here too. Oh, yeah. This is the gate. And the other nations, the heathen, they're gonna have to come to the gate. And then uh, when you look up the word um, evil, and uh, I, J says bad, evil, wicked. One, in general, of persons, yep. and enough thoughts. So a person. Persons, so persons in that in that form of being evil. If you're yep. evil, we're supposed to hate you. Yep. You know? each, yep. Each individual person. Person in which accumulate to their nation. And Esau can't be good, so yep. there ain't no good in Esau. Revelations 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations. To him will we give power over the nations. And we're going to show you that we love the nations so much in our kingdom, the brother going to bring it out. How's it, how are you going to um, classify this or define that as love? Right. Verse, verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. As the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even, even as I received my father. See, so we're going to break them into shivers. That's not love. All right, what's the opposite of that? That's hate, man. That's anger. All right, that's revenge, man. Retribution. That's retribution. Yep. That's um, uh, sowing to them what they sowed. So the Lord going to teach them a lesson. And ultimately, they ain't gonna be um, uh, designed to keep the laws, so they gonna be going off in the kingdom, and we gonna be whipping their behinds, man. All right. Eventually, after a thousand years, Esau is gonna be um, uh, extinct. Yeah, he's gonna be eradicated. He's gonna be destroyed. But the other nations, but Lord willing, after a thousand years, you get it together. Whereas you be able to keep the laws to a, a good tee. Whereas, you know what I mean, we don't gotta keep bashing you to shivers, man or destroying you like the uh, potter's vessel. But for that first rain, a thousand years, we're going to be killing you, destroying you people, man. Because you're not going to be designed and programmed. The laws ain't going to be in your inward parts. And we already know the flesh is what? Subject to vanity, man. So we going off in the flesh hot. And you damn people can't even try to keep an inkling of these laws, man. These other nations. You can't keep the inkling of these laws. You think wearing all black and shit with them hats, that's keeping the laws of the Lord, man. Because you got a beard on your face, but and you you talking about you because you eat kosher pig, that's that's going off, man. It's like, okay, you going, you still going, and you're not the Lord's people anyway. That's another thing. You live in a lie, too. So how is you gonna be? Um, think you keeping the laws, but lying to the Lord, talking talk about you are a Jew. Give me that. I know this. Know to them to say they are Jews, but you're not. You need to just come for the same thing anyway. Come out and warn the world, but you're not gonna. Warn the world that you're Satan, that you're the Edomites, which one of them dudes did, I think, uh, the 13th tribe, and they killed him or something. I forgot his name. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Him, he came out and told, he told the world he was Edom. He was Edom, Adawan, or Aishawa. Okay. Revelations 2 and 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Well, and the first thing about coming back to the Lord, if you was the true people, but you're not the true people of the Lord, but you're, you're, your whole life is a lie, man. It's a big fraud. Because you're not the Jews anyway. You're not from Yahweh, okay? And then you say you're Levi, which that's a, a, you can't be both tribes at one time in the, in the flesh. So you, it's a big scam. And then you put the Lord's people in the slave. So we, that proves that these nations can't keep the Lord's laws, man. And then the Lord said in Romans that uh, he that is a Jew, much in every way, because unto him was committed the oracles of God. Man. So we was given the commandments of the Lord, and you other nations weren't. That's, that's another indicator that you can't keep these statutes and commandments. Okay? What, I'm, what I'm driving at is, the point is in the kingdom, these nations gonna be going on, and we gonna be beating these uh, uh, shivers, man. We gonna beat them into, um, that's an analogy the Lord has used, basically gonna be beating the shit out of y'all. And that's gonna and be our pastime. So the Lord will give us something to do. Yeah, it ain't gonna be because we love you. It's gonna be because we hate and you, despise you. Yeah. Yeah. And our, per our hate is gonna be perfected in them moments. Right? Yeah. So look in the kingdom. We're gonna put the laws in their inward parts. We're gonna be perfect. So we're gonna have perfect hatred for you. Because that, that Jacob I love, Esau I hated, that that um that um understanding is gonna be in the kingdom. 
when we rule it, we gonna know that the Lord hates these damn fucking um, degenerate, uh, what you call that, John? Albino motherfuckers that don't have no damn pigmentation. We gonna, it's gonna be very perfect, and we gonna be right back in our right form. So we're gonna look at you like, ew, look at this shit. It's just like a, a slug on the ground, a snail. Yeah. Just kick it like, ew, that's what I mean. We're gonna be fucking y'all up, man. Then we're gonna see the Arabs for what they are, these dumb, docile nations, man. We gotta rule the class mentality. We're gonna see the Hamites all naked and exposed, peasy ass heads. We're gonna be fucking y'all up, man. We're gonna be destroying your flesh. And the best of y'all, the best of y'all, we're gonna take the women of the best of y'all women, and we're gonna have them as concubines. Okay? Like uh, uh, YT politics, he had a little joke with the uh, skit popping toes. That's not gonna leave. The, that's gonna have the um, the heathens, the best of their women is gonna be the, the least of our women, all right? The least of our state. The best of the heathen women is gonna be the least of our. And with that, I'm gonna say all praises to your Hawabashim, your Hawashai. All praises, Yahweh. Double honors to the elders of Great, great Millstone. Double honors to the elders of Great, great Millstone. And peace and blessings to all the brothers out there teaching the word. Peace and blessings to all the brothers. Death to America!